in today's video, I'm going to be doing my Sephora and Ulta haul for you, and I'm so excited because I just went to Sephora and Ulta a few days back, and I got so many goodies that I can't wait to show you. But before we get into that, there's a few things that I wanted to talk to you about first. So first and foremost, I hope you guys had a great Easter. I know I did, so I really hope you guys did. And then the second thing that I'm sure I will be getting questions about is, are these extensions or is this my real hair? This is my real hair. <laughs> um, I actually do not really wear extensions like at all. I don't own a pair of extensions. Now, with that being said, I have nothing against extensions. Trust me, I think they're absolutely gorgeous, but I happen to have extremely thick hair. So um, I just at the moment don't see a reason to wear them. The only reason why I would wear extensions is to get more volume, and that's and that's it. But I mean, other than that, I don't I don't really wear extensions ever. Like I said, I don't own a pair. So that's that. Um, the next thing that I wanted to mention before we hop on into my haul is I just wanted to thank you guys so much. Um, I read your comments, I read everybody's comments and replied to everybody's comments on my March Favorites video. And you guys are seriously so awesome. And um, I was just blown away. I mean, they were all extremely positive comments. You guys were commenting how you love my thumbnail, how you love the makeup and all these different things. And it was just really sweet of you. So I really do appreciate it. And I love you guys so much for that. Um, I really love interacting with you guys, so please keep the comments coming because um, that last video was amazing and it just had me in smiles all day long. So thank you so much again. You guys are the best and um, you're obviously the reason why I do this in the first place. So again, I really do appreciate it. Another thing that I wanted to quickly mention before we get into the video is um, because I am doing a haul, I really don't want you guys to think that I am showing off everything that I'm getting. I mean, the purpose of this video is just to show you what I got, not to rub it in your face. Um, it's products that I'm extremely excited about, and obviously, whenever I can get my hands on new products, that's a great thing, especially for you guys, because then I can let you know what I think about them, especially if you want to see a review or a first impression, because I will say, I have not tried any of these products at all yet, since I did just get them a few days ago. Well, actually, no, I'm lying. I only tried one product, and it was a brush. Um, I actually used it today. So I will talk about that as soon as we hop on into the haul and we might as well do that now. If you want to know what I got from Sephora and Ulta, then please keep watching. So we're going to go ahead and start with Ulta first and I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. Um, I got a lot of different things actually. Um, but the reason why we're starting with Ulta first and not Sephora is because I got a lot more things from Sephora than Ulta. So um, let's go ahead and just get this started. So the first thing that I picked up is this really awesome sculpting brush and it's from Real Techniques and I actually used it today. This is the, the brush I was talking about that um, I have used this and I haven't used anything else from this haul except this brush. I used it today and I really love the way it came out. If you can tell, um, it really accentuates the, the contour portions of your face. When I contour today, I use this brush and I really like it. Um, I think that this brush is, is awesome. It's amazing and I'm definitely going to be using this in tutorials so I can show you guys what I'm talking about because I think that if you spend the money on this, you're really going to enjoy it if you absolutely love highlighting and contouring like I do. So it's the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush and I love this brush. So the first thing that I got from Ulta is this Batiste Dry Shampoo and I'm actually really excited to try this. I've heard so much about this and it's so, so cheap. It's really affordable. And obviously that's a huge plus for you guys. Um, and I, I have not tried this yet, but I'm really excited to try this because I've heard so much about this stuff. Um, I've heard it all over YouTube and all in the beauty industry, and I've heard just really positive reviews about this particular product. So I'm extremely excited to try this Batiste Dry Shampoo. So the next thing that I got from Ulta is this cute little teasing comb, and I think it's so adorable, and it's from Spornet Styling Brushes. I've never heard of that company, but you know, hey. 
Um, it's just a basic one and it's really cheap, which is nice also, but actually the bristles on this are really hard and it seems very difficult to break and I like the way this feels, especially because I have really thick hair like I just said. So I'm excited to try this. I honestly don't even tease my hair that much. The main reason why I bought this is so that way when I do want to like comb my hair back, everything's going to be nice and flat because the teasing brush that I have now, it just is crap. I mean, it just doesn't work. So I figured, you know, why not pick up um, another one and see how this works. So that is the teasing brush that I got and it is from Spornet. These next two things that I got from Ulta are these really cute little baked blushes and um, they're both pink tones but one is more of like a rouge color with purple undertones, the other one is more true pink. Um, I got this at Ulta like I just said and it's from the brand Palladio. I really hope I'm saying that right but they are made in Canada. I've never tried them before and obviously the whole purpose of a haul is to get new things that I have never tried and um, so I wanted to try these out and see how I like these and uh, if I like these then I will definitely be using these in tutorials for you guys um, but I, I think that they're just so cute and they're both baked blushes and if you don't know what a baked blush is, a baked blush is just something that has, um, it's more of like a, like a glowy tone to it so it'll have a little bit of shimmer in it um, versus just a matte blush is just that it's matte it's not going to have much shimmer in it unless you find a matte blush that has shimmer in it but most of the times they really don't um, so I wanted to get a baked blush because we are obviously in spring going into summer and so obviously baked blushes and bronzers are really in right now and beautiful so that is why I got these two things this next product that I picked up is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I also got this at Ulta and it's the Perfect Brow Pencil. Right now I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz and um, I really do like it. I don't have any complaints from it except the only thing is um, I, I wanted something more natural. Um, I find that the Brow Wiz sometimes if you are heavy handed and unfortunately I am, that's why their dip brow pomade just doesn't work for me. It's way too harsh and way too dark. Um, I found that with the brow wiz, I'm still it's I'm still being too too harsh on it when I when I use it. Um, I'm really heavy handed with it. And so I wanted a product that if I'm heavy handed with it still isn't going to make my brows look a lot darker than what they really are. So um, I picked up the brow pencil and I'm really, really excited to try this. I used a sample of it on my hand when I was at Ulta and I really liked how it came out versus the Brow Wiz. So I'm excited. It obviously has on one side, just like the Brow Wiz on one side, it has the actual pencil itself. On the other side is a spoolie. So I'm excited to try this and how their, their shades work is the same as the, uh, the Brow Wiz. So I'm in soft brown and I was in soft brown and the brow is too. So I'm excited to try this out. I really think I'm gonna like it because Anastasia is like the queen of brows. So I can't wait to try this. And these last things that I got from Ulta are lashes. And I knew I wanted a pair of lashes and in my March favorites I mentioned that I absolutely am in love with Ardell lashes. I think they're great and there's a few reasons why. You know when you go to the drugstore and you get lashes and sometimes they just, they clearly look like they're false lashes and they are just not flattering at all. Well, Ardell lashes are not like that. And another reason why I love these is because you can get these at the drugstore. So they are extremely affordable. They're like three, four, five dollars, something like that. They're extremely affordable. I think for this twin pack, I, I paid like six dollars at Ulta. I mean, that is a really good price because I know the higher end, lashes that you can get are typically anywhere from you know 25 to 45 50 dollars it really just depends so um, I really love these lashes a lot and I knew I needed to get more so I picked these up as well while I was there and uh, I can't wait to try these out too I got the 110 in natural and then 101 demis which is this twin pack here and then the 411s as well and they're the uh, the curvy ones from Ardell so I'm excited to try this I can't wait okay so we're gonna go ahead and move along to my Sephora portion and this is 
This is definitely going to be a good amount of stuff, so I'm going to try to keep my description short and sweet as to why I got these things. So, let's go ahead and get started with this part. The next thing that I got from Sephora is this Sephora palette here. It's um, nothing really special, but the reason why I got it is because it's a baked palette. And like I was mentioning before, baked shadows and baked blushes are perfect because they're going to have shimmer in them. So they are ideal, usually for spring and summer. Um, so when I saw this, it was screaming my name because I am a sucker for things that are glittery and shimmery and I love things like that. So I saw this palette and I knew I had to get it and it's really not that expensive. Um, but they are very shimmery and like I said, they're baked so they are going to have a lot of shimmer and a lot of glitter in them. Um, and they seem to be pretty pigmented from what I can see. So I can't wait to try this out and uh, let you know what I think of it. I'm probably going to be doing a makeup look on this for a spring or summer tutorial because I think baked shadows in the spring and summer are absolutely gorgeous and ideal. So let me know if you guys want to see that in the comments below. So the next thing that I got from Sephora is this Agave Lip Mask from Bite Beauty and I've heard so much about this and this is perfect for someone like me because I have very, very, very dry lips throughout the entire year. So whether the season changed or not, that doesn't really matter. I always have very, very, very dry lips. They get no moisture, just like my dry skin like I talked about in my last video which was my March favorites. I absolutely have no moisture on my skin, on my lips, nothing. So um, I've heard a lot about this on YouTube and in the beauty industry and I'm really excited to try this. And I just got the, the natural color, I think it comes in three or four different colors, but I got the natural color and I'm excited because I've heard really awesome things about this product. So if you've tried this, let me know in the comments below what you think of it and if you've tried it or not. So since we are talking about lips, I only thought that it would make sense to move on to these two lip products that I just purchased from Sephora. And I've heard so many awesome things about these two products and I'm really excited to try these. Um, they are the Too Faced Melted um, Liquid Long Wearing Lipsticks and I cannot wait to try these. The colors I got are Melted Coral and Melted Nude. And I thought the coral one would be absolutely perfect for spring and summer. And obviously I love neutral shades, so I got the nude one as well. And uh, I can't wait to try these. I've heard really good things about these melted products from Too Faced. So I can't wait and I'm really, really, really excited. So this next thing that I got from Sephora is the Smashbox Camera Ready Cream. It's their CC Cream. And I am really excited to try this and there's a few reasons why I'm excited to try this. One is because I actually, believe it or not, have never tried a BB cream or a CC cream ever in my entire life. So I have heard a lot of good things about this one. I've heard a lot of people rave about this one and how this was their favorite to use out of all of the BB and CC creams that other companies carry. I heard this one is the best. So. I wanted to give this one a try and I got this in the shade light because right now I am not really tan. Um, so when I am tan, obviously I'll pick it up in the next shade up. But for right now I got it in the color light and I'm really excited. And another reason why I'm really excited to try this is because with um, CC creams and BB creams, I find that they are usually ideal for the spring and summer time. And the reason why is because a lot of people don't really like caking on their face with foundation in spring and summer because it is so hot and sometimes it can just feel like it's melting off of your face. Now because I have dry skin, I don't really have that issue but there are times where I want a much lighter feeling to my skin than when I'm wearing you know, a full face of foundation. So this is going to be perfect for that because CC creams are meant to uh, color correct. That's what a CC cream stands for. So. With that being said, it's going to, you know, cancel out the redness, balance out your skin, but also be very, very, very lightweight. And that's what I'm most excited about because honestly, at the end of the day, I love taking off my makeup because I hate the feeling of extremely caked on foundation. And I don't really cake on my foundation. I usually like, like to apply uh, a light layer. However, 
some foundations, it's just inevitable, it's gonna feel cakey on the face, and I hate that feeling more than anything. So when I take my makeup off in the evening, I am just so excited to do that. So I'm excited to try this, and if you've tried this, let me know what you think, but I've heard amazing reviews about this. So I can't wait. So since we are still on face products, the next thing that I picked up from Sephora is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And I also have heard so many awesome things about this. And as soon as I saw this, I read the back and it said photo finish primer water. It is infused with electrolytes to prime by misting to create our sheerest canvas for makeup and hydrate the skin for hours and also revitalize complexion to boost radiance of the skin. So I saw that and I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be awesome. And the reason why is because, hi, I have dry skin all throughout the year. But this is really going to look beautiful in the spring and summer time. It's gonna give you that beautiful spring and summer glow that everybody is hoping to have. And um, I'm really, really excited to try this though. I've heard awesome things about this. And honestly, I didn't know that Smashbox was coming out with a primer water until I watched one of my favorite beauty gurus on YouTube. And her name, I'm sure many of you know who this person is, is Jaclyn Hill. And she spoke about this um, numerous times in a few different videos that she had. And I loved the finish of it. So I was like, you know what? Why not give it a try? So I picked this up and I can't wait to try this. So we will see how this goes, but I have a good feeling that it's going to be amazing. So the last thing that I picked up from Sephora is this Ultra Repair Intense Therapy Cream from First Aid Beauty. And I actually use this, there's a smaller tube of this that Sephora has, and I use a smaller tube of it to um, moisturize my face in the morning and at night. So I figured I might as well just get the bigger one so I won't run out of it as quickly, but also I wanted to use it on my body. And the reason why that is, is because this specific uh, skincare line is meant to hydrate dry, parched skin and relieve minor irritation and itching due to eczema and other conditions. And it's for the face and elsewhere. And in my last video, which was my March favorites, I spoke about how I have very dry skin and how I have eczema. So um, I've been really loving First Aid Beauty and I recommend it to anybody that has eczema because I think you guys are really going to enjoy it too. So I figured, you know, I just might as well pick up a bigger bottle of this since I love this as my moisturizer. I figured I, I'm probably gonna like it on my, my skin as well. So we will see how it goes, but I have a good feeling about this too. So actually this last thing I just found in my bag, I completely forgot it was there. Um, when I went to Sephora, I recently just renewed my VIB Rouge um, membership there because you have to spend like a certain amount of money in a year and then it renews for the next year. So I just did that and they gave me this VIB Rouge Marc Jacobs um, lipstick for free. And I actually haven't even opened this yet. I have no idea what it looks like. It comes with a little VIB Rouge note. And the Marc Jacobs lipstick, man. I cannot get this out to save my life. Okay, I finally got it out. Anyways, um, <laughs> it comes in this little cute tube. Oh my God, how cute is this? It is so cute. It's in the color Lamarck. Okay, ooh, look at this. It's like a deep, dark red color. This is really pretty. I am definitely gonna be trying this out. But anyways, they gave me this, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, Marc Jacobs too. That's some expensive stuff. Yes, thank you, Sephora. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, and that is the end of this haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I know it's a good amount of products that I got, but I wanted to show you everything, um, either to give you ideas on what things maybe you might want to purchase. If not, that's totally fine. But also, I wanted to try a lot of things out for you guys. So you know the drill, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave comments down below of what you would like me to film for my next video. And as always, thank you so much for keeping up with me. You guys are the best and I love you so much. So until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye.